Welcome back. We are here looking at the cryptocurrency market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 15, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos, and we'll start by looking at the Bitcoin. And as you can see, we continue to rally, and of course, uh, Elon Musk, uh, one person in the world, managed to uh, raise this market from basically the bottom to where we are at the moment. So give or take 10,000 points nearly, so eight, 10,000 points. Kind of shows you how volatile this market is as one person with a Twitter account can, can change all of this. So um, we're at the moment, we are technically trading it within a square. So we have the uh, roughly the, the highs here at the 40, uh, 40,400, give or take, and to the very bottom here at the 30,400. So give or take uh, 10,000 um, range. Uh, and the question is whether or not we roll over from here and head back towards 30,000, or if you manage to take out the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average. We will see that whether or not the 20 exponential moves in this direction and goes past the, the uh, 200 moving average and the 50 moving average. Technically, they are very bullish at this current stage. Um, technically, MACD is still underneath um, the zero, so it's still negative, but it's bullish. It's above the signal line. Stochastic is bullish, um, CCI is bullish, and so is the RSI. So let's look at Ethereum. So Ethereum is uh, all struggling. We are heading back towards uh, previous resistance at the 20 exponential moving average. And it's also going to be a question whether or not we manage to rally from here. We need to break above the 20 and the 50 in order to go back towards uh, the previous size. Otherwise, we could roll over from here, head back towards the 200 moving average at 1800. Technically, the others, they are not looking uh, very bullish. And the, the MACD is flat, the CASC is bullish, CCI is bullish or bearish, and uh, the RSI is flat as well. So let's look at Cardano. So Cardano, very similar here, rallied up towards the 20, and it's giving most of those, uh, it basically looks like it's going to roll over from here. If we manage to break above the 50, then we could head towards the top of the bullish band, which is also the previous highs here, and that should be a massive resistant. If we look at taking the English indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the stochastic is bullish, CGI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. If we roll over from here, then we are most likely going to test the 1.33. And if that breaks, then we are dropping all the way down to roughly $1. So let's look at Litecoin. So Litecoin is still struggling and doesn't look look like it's going to recover we have the crossing of the 200 moving average and the, and the 20 exponential 50 moving average is going to travel this way 200 is going to travel that way we'll mostly have a crossing around this area here if we look at techni technical indicators we can see the macd is still is bullish stochastic is bullish cgi is uh, on is becoming bullish and the rsi is flat but we're just going back and forward, very choppy, not a lot of movement compared to, for example, Bitcoin. Um, but if Bitcoin starts to rally, really take off again, then that could basically spill over to most of these other cryptocurrencies. Otherwise, if we break below, give or take 150, then we could drop back towards 118, 16, give or take. So let's look at NEO. So NEO, very similar. We are bouncing between the 20 exponential and the 200 moving average 20 exponential is mostly gonna going to um trend this way 200 this way and we'll mostly have a crossing of the 20 and the 200 moving average there and that's a fairly bearish signal um and we'll mostly see this drop even further if we drop below uh 34 then we could drop all the way to, down to 25. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the CASIC is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is flat. But if we rally above the 20 exponential, then we're mostly going to target the 50 up here at 73. So let's look at Dash. So Dash, very similar. Um, we have a crossing of the 20 and the 200. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is... Um, bullish stochastic is bullish cci is bearish and the rsi is flat 
And if we break below 153, then we could drop towards 119 and then significantly lower than that. If we manage to rally above the 200 moving average, then 253 or the 50 moving average will most likely be um, where we find massive resistance. So let's look at Dogecoin. Yes, there is not a lot of movement here in the Dogecoin. Rallied up towards the 20 exponential, got rejected there, and that kind of gives us a um, kind of gives us a sign that this will mostly be go back towards the bottom of the bullish band, roughly 0 0.27. If that basically breaks, then we could drop all the way down to the 200 and uh, 0 0.14. If you look at technical indicators, I mean, MACD is flat, stochastic is flat, CCI is uh, bearish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So, yes, we have not seen a massive move to the upside for a very long time. This was the last one. Since then, we have basically broken down. So, all breakouts have been basically been failing. We see it here, we see it here. And um, yes, there's not that kind of momentum behind its cryptocurrency as there once was. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome, welcome to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.